Hi, I'm Lou. Today I'm going to explain gasoline vapor lock and how to fix it. This is our gas line and our vapor lock bubble will appear right here. At room temperature we're fine, but watch as I start using this heat gun. Vapor lock kicks in a little over 140 degrees and you have to cool it way down to get rid of it. We'll do that with a fan. All vehicles built after about 1980 have electronic fuel injection, so vapor locking is not a problem. Lawn mowers, old tractors, and muscle cars commonly have vapor lock issues. We'll talk about my tractor, but this applies to anything with a choke, including these sneaky chokes that are at the top of the accelerator. Your gas line needs to stay under 140 degrees, but the radiator is blowing 200 and the exhaust system is radiating over 500. You'll be running along fine for about 10 minutes and then vapor lock will shut you down like a switch. I've had vapor lock occur in the carburetor itself and in the tubing here. I resolved it with a simple sheet metal heat shield that keeps the hot air up there and cooler down here. I also had an issue with hot air blowing under the gas tank and vapor locking this pipe until I put that heat shield right there. With that shielding in place, I never get over 120 degrees. Another good technique is to crinkle up aluminum foil to form air pockets and wrap this around your hose. That does a pretty good job keeping the heat off. An infrared thermometer will help you find the hot spots and a clear fuel filter will help you see the vapor. If you're really having trouble, get clear fuel lines. Thanks for watching and good luck fixing your vapor lock.